Danielle Box, and I would love to share with you about a wonderful woman who changed American history. This fearless woman rallied, risked her life, and endured many hardships, all for the sake of American women. This woman was the young women's rights activist, but to me, she is one of the most amazing, determined, fearless women to ever walk the face of the earth. I've been thoroughly intrigued by her through watching the movie, documentary, Iron Dot Angels, and through my own research. In my speech, I would like to tell you about her background and why she believes the things that she does, the injustices that she saw, and the goals that she set to correct those injustices, and finally, what she was willing to endure to accomplish her set goals. Can you get the lights, please? This is Alice Paul. She was born in 1885 and died in 1977 at the ripe age of 92. She was born in a Quaker home where they practiced gender equality, education for women, and working for the betterment of society. With this mindset, Alice graduated at the top of her class and went to college to receive a better education. Most women were considered housewives and they were meant to cook, clean, and take care of the children. But I believe that Alice Paul's Quaker mindset and her better education allowed her to be much different. Lights, please. Alice Paul was very aware of the injustices that women faced. Women were not equal to men. African American men were free and had the right to vote, but women still did not have the right to vote. I learned from the online source about.com women's history that Alice Paul's mother told her again and again and again that if you put your hand to the plow, don't stop until you get to the end of the row. I think that this played a huge part in Alice Paul's tenacity and her unwillingness to give up until she had accomplished her goals and what she believed in. Alice Paul went through many trials and tribulations during her 10-year fight for the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, which allowed women the right to vote. Bystanders assaulted them, and the police did absolutely nothing. They just stood by and simply watched. They didn't try to protect them or anything. The women were jailed for picketing outside of the White House. It was said that they were obstructing traffic. Alice Paul spent two weeks in confinement where she, was, where she only drank water and ate bread. She became so weak that she couldn't even walk. And so they sent her to the prison hospital where she then began her hunger strike. And they became scared because they thought that she would die because she was so ill. They threatened to put her in an insane asylum, but this did not stop her. And she continued her hunger strike and also encouraged other women to not back down for what they believed in. They began to tube feed her, force feed her through a tube. They would stick it down her throat. They would strap her to a chair and then stick the tube down her throat or through her nostril. And they would pour liquids down the tube into her stomach or raw eggs. She would vomit continuously throughout the process, and it was extremely painful, but she still did not back down. Although many people have absolutely no earthly idea who Alice Paul was, she was one of the most important women in American history. Her background and values played a huge part in who she was and what she was for. Her passion for the equality of the sexes. This was all brought about through her values that she was taught in this Quaker home. She organized protests, rallies, a parade in order to reach her goals about the injustices towards women. And these goals were not simply for her, but for millions of American women who didn't have the right to vote. She also, as mentioned earlier, went through many hardships and endured many physical pains 
to finally get the women the right to vote in 1920. I hope that you've really enjoyed this presentation and have learned a lot about Alice Paul and who she was and just what she went through to get women the right to vote.